guys! So today I am going to be showing you my makeup and beauty favourites of May. So I know this is going up a few days into June, but it's still my May favourites, if that makes sense. Do you like my hat? It is an Ariana Grande one. Oh, ignore my hair. Look. I got this in the post a few days ago. Um, it's my Ariana Grande Dangerous Woman hat and I love it so I thought I would... So that was totally off subject but I will start showing you my um, beauty and makeup favourites even though it's pretty much the same thing um, of May. And I thought I'd show you my beauty and makeup favourites this time not like a general favourites because I haven't really got anything new last month so everything that was my favourite last month was my favourite in April, March, February, January so it just thought I'd do make favourites this month because I've got a few new bits and yeah let's just get straight into it. So first I'll start with the bits that aren't makeup they're just kind of uh, makeup related so first I have the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and this has been hyped about over YouTube for quite some time now because of Nikki Tutorials and now I know why it is so so good. I only got it a couple weeks ago so I haven't used it um, the whole of May but I went to MagCon as you all know on the 29th of May and so I wore this um, under my foundation and my makeup and I looked exactly the same. I was there i had i put this on at about seven o'clock in the morning well earlier than that about half six in the morning and didn't take it off until about 11 at night and i looked exactly the same so this is definitely 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 worth it and also when i wear foundation usually like i get spots like i, I that's why i don't if you've been watching me for a while you know that I don't wear foundation and recently in a few videos I've started to wear foundation more. Um, that's because of this. So I wear this and my skin doesn't break out at all. It is just such a good product. So yeah I think this is about £3 so it's really cheap as well instead of buying just a normal primer. The second and final non-makeup favourite is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and I only got this recently as well and I've started using it um, I've used it a few times and this is how much is left I will say it does go down quite quickly I find but it takes your makeup off like that it's so much better than makeup wipes but what I like to do is I'll take my makeup off with makeup wipes and then I'll go over with this afterwards because it really does get into the bits that your makeup wipes don't and it just gets the rest of the makeup off your face and it's really really good so I really recommend this as well. So now we'll talk about my favourite face makeup products of the month and the first one is the Rimmel London Kate Coral Glow Contour Kit. Um, it has a highlight, a contour shade and a blush and I love all three of these. It's really rare that I get a, oh, I get a contour palette where um, I don't, that where I like all of the products in it and this is probably the only one that I have that actually has that where I like every single one so you have the highlighter the contour and the blush and I'll just swatch them for you you probably won't be able to see this too well just because this is more of a natural um, glowy type of palette so there's the blush, the contour and the highlight and these are just really nice for a subtle glow. So again on the theme with highlighters we have the um, Urban Decay Naked Illuminated and this is in the shade Aura. It is so beautiful. I have it on today. Um, I wouldn't really say this is a highlighter. I'd just say this is kind of something to glitter up your face. So if I do this, can you see? how that's made me a bit more glittery. I'll swatch it for you so that you can see better. So that's it on my finger. So you think it's quite pink, but can you see how much it sparkles? Oh my god, it's so nice. That's it on my wrist, nope. Yep, yeah, oh, kind of, 
you can't see that at all that was a complete waste of time but yeah this is really nice as just a highlight topper just to make it a bit more sparkly so now on to a big face product well that doesn't make sense a big face product shut up beth um <laughs> this is a palette this is the gwen stefani um blush palette and it is so beautiful i've been using this every single day through may and since I got it really, which was I think in February or January. My favourites in this palette are the um, bronzy shade, the highlighter here and the con um, the contour, the blush here. And the blush is in the shade Cherry, the highlighter is in the shade Angel and the um, bronzer is in the shade Lo-Fi. To be honest, I think I paid £38 for this palette. I would have paid that just for this highlighter. It is the best highlight. I have ever used in my life and I really feel bad swatching it because I'm almost hitting pan and I, just, I don't want to swatch it because I don't want it to run out. Honestly guys, I feel like my swatching sucks. There we go. So that's the highlight, the blush and the bronzer. My, I'm so rubbish at swatching things, I'm really sorry. Finally with face products, I have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm wearing this today. And I really like the way that it finishes my skin and it's so nice to apply as well. And it actually like match, well, matches as far as matches goes to my neck, which I really like. So I do appreciate this. I have mine in the shade um, Golden Ivory, if you're wondering. It's more yellow toned if I'm honest, because that's kind of my skin. I, this is one that I bought halfway through May and it's really nice to my skin, it doesn't break me out and that's really rare with foundations with me. As I said previously, I don't wear foundations but I wear this now so it's really good, I really like it. On to eyeshadows and you can probably guess what this is and it is my Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette. So these are the shades. I will link down below my Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass review. I went to see the film the other day as well and it was really good. I think I do like the first one better, but it was still really good nonetheless. So these are the shades and they're so beautiful. So yeah, if I'm not going to talk about this too much because I've already done a video on it. So if you want to see that, I'll link it down below. Yeah. Finally, we have lip products and there's quite a few because you know I love me some lip products. So first I will talk about these two products which you can probably guess as well because I wear them in pretty much every single video. So these are the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kits and this is the shade um, Candy K and this is the Lip Liner. I've had to sharpen this like three times already because I use it so much. I'm not wearing it today. Oh, the lid fell off. That is one thing, you have to push the lid down. But I've got nothing bad to say about these at all, apart from the fact that they sell out like that and you have to be on the website like 20 minutes before to even... It's just a nightmare. But I really, really like these. Let me know if you want to see a review, maybe? I just don't feel like I have enough of the colours to um, do a review yet because I only have this one and um, Rain, which is the metallic one. Um, so I don't really feel like I have enough. Maybe I'll get a gloss and then I can see which one, do like a review and which one I like better, the glosses, the metallics, or the um, liquid lipsticks. So that could be a good idea, but yes, these are my favourites. These are probably the, my favourite favourites of this month, like, hands down. So next we have another liquid lipstick, and this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip, Lip Cream, and this is in the shade London, and this is a orangey brownie pinky nudey color it's really nice and it's comfortable on your lips but it doesn't last i would compare these to each other to be honest but it just doesn't last as long as this and you can feel it more on your lips than this one so finally 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 we have the rosie for autograph lipstick in the shade silk rose and you guys know i love this lipstick it is Probably my favourite lipstick shade ever. I just think, and it smells. Oh my god. I can't put my finger on what it smells on. Smells on? Smells like? I think. 
it's kind of like Smarties and M&M's. I don't know, but it smells so good. You just, I bought this, to be honest, I bought this for the packaging. And then I realised it smelled good and then I realised the colour was bomb. So you need to get yourself some rosy for autograph lipsticks. So that was my beauty and makeup favourites of May. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more favourites because I've only done one and that was January so it was a long long time ago. Um, and with summer coming up there's probably going to be more and more favourites rolling in so I might do a few. Also let me know what other videos you'd like me to do because I'm kind of thinking of doing a festival lookbook. But I'm not 100% sure because I need some people to help me film it and I don't really have anyone to help me film it. So I'll figure it out. But yeah, I really hope you guys liked the video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.